Can I pray for you? Let me get your hands. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Father God, the love she's been missing. Yes. That she's been seeking in the wrong places, my God. I pray that she gets a revelation, Father God, of who the Father is in heaven. Never again will you look for love in the wrong place. Come on. Never again. They have nothing to offer you. They only want to use you. My God, thank you, Jesus. See how you told me she's so pretty? You're pretty. Amen. But you don't know it. Because of the lack of fatherhood. Wow. But in the name of Jesus, Paul, levanten su mano para acá. Ribasu tarabase tarabasu amang sorobosea. If we only came here for you tonight, well, God's will be done. God loves you. God loves you. Amen. How old is she? She's 11. For your 16th birthday, there's gonna be a big party. Amen. And you're gonna dress like a Cinderella. Jesus. And you're gonna be a princess, not only from there, but from now. A princess watches what she do, who she talks to, mm. how she dresses, there who she hangs out with, her mindset is different. Study the royal family. That's who you are. Royal, Amen. You're not trash. This neighborhood doesn't, doesn't define you. You're called to do big things. And the Lord says even the grades are going higher because he's called you to be a professional for his kingdom. Amen. So no more left behind. No more dropping classes. No more cutting classes. Come on. No more hanging out with the wrong people. Jesus. As of today, God says, I'm changing your whole circle. Amen. Amen. Do it, God. Do it again. Yes. Yes. Drugs will not get a get hold of you. In the name of Jesus. Liquor neither. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Keep her innocence, Father God. I'm a prophet and God is talking to you. Trust me, his word will be established in your head. Amen. The Lord says you will be a missionary for his kingdom. Wow. You're going to travel the nations and preach his word. Jesus. At the age of 21, he's going to give you a worldwide passport. Jesus. And that passport is coming with an airplane. Wow. There's going to be a company that's going to, like, basically, a mission company is going to, like, pay you to go out. Wow. Amen. And I see a nurse connection. I see medicals. And you might be part of that team. Because there's a strong desire for you in medicine. I don't know it's like if you want to be a surgeon, but God says you're going to be a nurse for my kingdom. Wow. And you're going to save lots of kids. Rebase and all the pain you have suffered, God says you're gonna see the pain in them before Jesus. before even hits. Rebasu wow. and you're gonna take it into you're gonna take a lot of kids under your arms, and they will not suffer what you suffer. God. You many nights you cried at night. Rebase terobosia alone. Rebasi and you always said no one understands me, no one gets me. I'm different. God says you're different from me. Yes, you are. And God says I've seen the tears. And as of today, everything's going to change. I break every spirit that's trying to control your mindset, any mental thoughts, every suicidal thought, every mental, whatever's been happening in the mind, God says tonight, everything's going to be renewed. How many best friends do you have? Or you think you have? Two. <laughs> Why do you think you, I said that you think you have? Because people were toxic. A friend doesn't lead you to problems. A, sa a friend saves you from problems. Come on. A, fr a friend wants you to do better, not worse than. A friend guides you to Jesus, not takes you away from Jesus. Amen. God says he's changing the whole circle. For those two friends, you're going to pray. And God is going to use you to bring them to Christ. Because they need it. They, they, they live in broken homes. They surround them with a lot of violence. They're so used to that. And God says, I'm going to use you to heal them so they can heal their family. Get ready. From today, you're a missionary. Amen. You're going to do God's. And it might, start, it might start here in 125th, where you're going to go to the nations of the world. Amen. God bless you.
Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Prison will not get a hold of you. We break and we cancel that now. Death will not get a hold of you. Addiction will not get a hold of you. We cut it from the root now in the name of Jesus. And we command every spirit, even, even not sleeping at night, every insomnia spirit. Mother saying, yeah, my God. God is your peace. God is your peace. Not the drugs, not the liquor, not the woman, not the money, not the friends, not the streets. It's not a portion for your life. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. It's not a portion for your life. Thank you, Father God. The peace of God upon his mind. Thank you, Lord. Let's just put it like this. This is what I got. It's nice that she doesn't sleep because you are out. Wow. And the last thing she needs is for her she get, to get a call that you've been found dead. Jesus Christ. This is the last day it ends. There's angel that protect you. In the past three months, that's what I got. In the past three months, it's been crazy because you feel something coming upon you. And you know that they're looking for you. And you don't know what it is. I smell fear, prophet. That's what I saw. Like a spirit of fear upon him. And, of death. and you felt death so strong mm -hmm. close to you mm -hmm. that you cannot sleep at night. Wow. That's Re -ba -su. Spirit of fear. And, you, and, and the nightmares need to go tonight. No more nightmares because of the life you're living. But God says, son, I've kept you. You do not want to end up in the hands. I see two boys that you hang out with very often. And the reason they're the way they are is because they have no father. And even their mothers does not care for them. Wow. But you have a mom that cares for you. You want to get for pain? Got a good mother here. No. No. I pay for your heart. Thank you, Jesus. I know you say that you don't want to connect with your dad. I know you don't want to look for him. God says you should look for him. You should talk to him. You should open up to him. You need a man figure in your life. Mm. You need someone that could speak into you, like this moment. Because you're very unexperienced, but then you're looking to, you always act in the street like you are. But guess what? Deep inside you, you it's like you're a big boy and you need a hug. Sometimes you say, I'm not emotional, mom. I don't cry. God says, well, yes. Yes, sometimes you need wow. to cry. God you need to cry to God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord, God. Apostle, give him a hug. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I bless him. I bless him. The Father, amen. When I fall prophet, I saw, when I, before you start praying, I saw a spirit of fear upon him because of what might happen to you, but yet you're still in the same circle. Um, don't be afraid to disconnect, even though slowly, Get busy, school, work, and just do this because when they come to a raid and you're there, everybody's gonna get raided. Jesus. And you wanna be a statistic in the news. With that kid that was in the basement and this address, and don't don't be that. Amen. Amen. I, I wanna pray for his um it's like it's not eating disorders, but you don't eat properly. Yeah. Oh, he said yeah, he said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord. God says, if you trust me, not only will you pass your classes, if you rest in me, I will make, I will open doors of favor. The Holy Spirit will help you how to pass the grades and how to talk to teachers and how to be calmed and how to let go of the anger. And then probably you eat and you enjoy the food. You right? Because you let go of the food because you're so stressed out because you want to do so much better. But without energy, how can you do anything? Wow. You're a great kid. You need to believe it. And you don't have to prove it to anyone. It doesn't matter what they think. Come on. What matters is what God thinks. Amen. And when you do something, you do it because you want to do it. Amen. Not because someone forces you to do it. And, and the competition with grace needs to stop. You need to be a kid. You need to be happy. And if that's not the school, it's not the school. You get it? Because who are you proving it to if you're, mm. not, if you're, not, if you're not happy? 
So you need to speak up because you don't want to be stressed all the time. If you're stressed of going into a school, that could be a reason why you're so like not even eating. And it's not to live by snacks. You can be snacking all day and think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Chips is not food, I tell my son, that's not food. <laughs> it's time to eat. Father God, I come against this demonic. Yes. We pray that every father legion, takes the right nutrients. Every legion that's mm. trying to mess with his eating habits, mm. my God. He amongst so every spirit of destruction upon his mind, my Lord. Whatever tells him, oh shit, we cancel that in Thank the name you, of Jesus. God. Yes, Lord. God, his brain, Lord Jesus, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Do you feel sometimes the brains don't explode? Yeah. <laughs> he say he's like, yeah. <laughs> stress. Why are you so stressed out? You're a young kid, man. You don't pay no bills, man. Why are you stressed out for? <laughs> for we all go through those kids things. Kids go get stressed. They go through things. Trust me. I, I'm on Brooklyn Tech. People, kids get stressed. You need to let go. Amen. Trust God. Amen.